In round 11, start with one chain stitch, then work set off once on crochet, one decrease for six times. Finally, end with one snip stitch. One chain stitch first. Yarn hook, put the yarn through the loop on the hook. Then work one single crochet and one decrease. One single crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. One decrease. Insert hook through the front loops of the next two adjacent stitches. The loop close to us is a front loop. Okay, hook the yarn and pull through to front loops. Then yarn hook. Pull the yarn through both loops and hook. That's one decrease. One single crochet and one decrease are finished. One set is done. Keep working five more sets. We work one single crochet and one decrease as one set. Let's continue. We have demonstrated the two sets here. Please finish the rest of four sets by yourself. Work once on crochet and one decrease as one set. Six sets are done. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Insert hook into this mark stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop on the hook. Round 11 is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Tear the fiber field to make it fluffy. And then stuff the fabric with fiber fuel. That is what it looks like after stuffing. Then we'll continue to crochet. In round 12, start with one chain stitch. Then work six decreases. Finally, end with one snip stitch. One chain stitch first. Yarn hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Okay. Then work six decreases. Insert hook through the front loops of next two adjacent stitches. Okay. Hook the yarn and pull through two front loops. Then yarn hook, pull through both loops and hook. One decrease is done. Mark the first stitch. Continue to work five more decreases in the same way.
Six decreases are down. Finally, one slip stitch. Round 12 is done. Break yarn. Pull the tail out. There are two needles in the kit. We'll use the longer one. Thread the needle with the yarn tail. Okay. So hold closed by stitching through the front loop solely of the last round. Tighten the yarn tail to close the hole. Thread the needle into the bottom of the head and out from the top of the head. Cut off axis end. We can squeeze the fabric to hide the yarn tail inside. Okay, the head is completed now.